Man uses battle axe to fend off intruder. This looks like the kind of guy to use a fucking battle axe. And off the top tonight, a Kalamazoo County man used a weapon to fend off a convicted criminal who kicked the door into his apartment late last night. But it wasn't a gun, a knife, or even a... He was waiting his whole life for this moment. It was a replica battle axe. Barton Dieters is in studio control with this story. All new tonight, Barton. Brian and Marley, the 33-year-old suspect, is in jail now, facing a charge of first-degree home invasion, which could put him in prison for a maximum of 20 years. Whoa. Whatever his reason was for kicking in the door of the Ashtimo apartment, he probably was not expecting to run into a guy who does this on the weekends. No. <laughs> well, number one, it's not LARPing. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, is it LARPing? And it's like, Whoa. no. Um, like, the, this Band-Aid was actually from filming last night for our newest episode. It's not LARPing. When he's not yeah, working at Applebee's, 36-year-old Ben Ball competes in the events where people compete against each other in ritualized combat. He owns a lot of period <laughs> weaponry reminiscent of the kind used by Vikings and barbarians. So it's WWE that he keeps around with LARPing. Apartment. I've got a double-headed carbon steel battle axe that was homemade by a gentleman who has since passed. That's what I call my my baby. Ball says that the suspect dated a former roommate who left to get Thanks away. Me, and he showed up at the apartment around 11.30 p.m. Wednesday. The suspect knocked on the door repeatedly as Ball was in his apartment playing video games and watching Rick and Morty. Then the suspect <laughs> kicks at the door. Fuck, this can't be a real story. Place. What the fuck? It may have been the third, but I was reaching already over here. And this is what Ball pulled out. Damn. And bad lacks. Door open, grab the That's axe, the axe step, of legends step. right there. <laughs> hit. Ball said he had reason to believe the suspect had a firearm. The axe hit the intruder at least once. Damn, he actually and fucking then got the him. Two started grappling in the apartment, destroying the place. There was a bloody mess everywhere. Finally, the suspect gave up and made a run for it. A neighbor called 911 and police showed up. Canines follow the so he actually fucking hit him with a battle axe. The suspect is Axel Lavelle Rawls, who's currently his name is Axel? In jail on a charge of first degree home invasion. Court records show Rawls was discharged from the State Department of Corrections in July. Okay, that's a real story. No fucking way. Night. People have a right to defend themselves, especially in their own home. In studio control. That wasn't eight, his home. Eight. That was his fucking fortress that he was defending with that battle axe. He had Rick and Morty on. He was fucking inspired. That can't be a real story. Hold on. None of that. None of that can be fucking real. So he hits a guy named Axel with a battle axe while watching Rick and Morty after a long day of LARPing. Oh my god, it is a real story. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. That man waited his, Jesus, waited his whole life to use that. I bet he is still smiling about it to this day, two years later. All of that LARPing finally put into play. Crazy. Can you watch One Piece? What? Why would I watch One Piece on YouTube night? I watch it before bed. Shit's really boring, so I just keep falling asleep during it. But I, I'm on episode 29. We're cruising. Almost to 30. Been watching for almost three months now, and I've only made it 29 episodes without falling asleep. Top 10 real parallel universe stories that defy science. 42 minutes of this. Holy fuck. Okay, I'll watch the first one. Starting off this list at number 10. This story goes that a couple were at home just doing some household chores when something some super strange happened to them. The husband went to open the front door to toss a dirty rug out of the house and it was completely pitch black outside. The weird part is that it was 2 p.m. and from inside the house it looked like a regular sunny afternoon with light coming in from the windows. They said that suddenly outside the front door where it was Oh, dark, this was like posted on Reddit. Light bulb and it went on. Was this no sleep? Again, and then on. They described oh it God. like the flickering a light bulb does right before before it's burnt out. The wife asked the husband if he had seen that and he replied, yes, what just happened? They also said that there weren't any clouds out either, so it couldn't have been a cloud blocking the sky. Were they transported to some alternate reality? Obviously. I honestly have no explanation for what the pair Yeah, because they Moving definitely didn't lie. Nine. Before I dive into this one, guys, 42 minutes of this. Hit that thumbs up button. Mutual friend named Audrey. Runner girl accepted in trust. Does this channel just go to our no sleep and just take this shit on there and then make a title for it? That's crazy. Holy fuck, that's actually crazy. Is that every single story here? 
Is this all for the same one? Wait, how are we at number five, five minutes in, but the video's 42 minutes? What the fuck is happening? Is this video a simulated parallel universe? Oh, it might be the joke. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like watching that at all. Yeah, I've, I've rode on a train before. It's horrible. It smelled like shit because the toilets were like built into the fucking seats. So you'd just be shitting and pissing where you sleep. It's fucking awful. The whole place just smelled like shit. What do you mean, what the fuck? Yeah, it was one of those overnight trains. I made a whole video about that. Yeah, like, if you bought one of those expensive seats on the trains, we didn't, but we were near that area, because it was behind the normal ones, they would just have, like, a little bathroom, which was basically just a shitter, right next to your seat, where you just take a shit and piss, and just flooded and contaminated that whole area. Man steals burglar's car who broke into his house. Okay. This guy's fucking awesome. Jack, you the hell out of me. I'm sorry. Happen here inside the house. I saw at least two. I was two sets of feet, and they were running pretty quick. Bear with me here. He should drive the car back just to keep I'm fucking with them. Just drive by. See if they notice. Ooh. Honk at them. <laughs> yeah. This title is pretty eye-catching. Car to catch you? Hell, bitch. This is just car fucking jack, ho. Woo! Oh, it's Jeez, nigga. Oh, it's a cop. Thanks to Tier 1 and slapstick in the Tier 1 Bone Man in the Prime oh. Tree. Oh, da, 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 da. So this guy is tweaking pretty hard, it seems. So how long does this go for? Does he just drive this car or does something else crazy happen? Huh? He delivers the rest of the pizzas. <laughs> that my Skipped? Well, it just looks like he's- Fuck, nigga. That shit was crazy, bitch. Just looked oh, like he was God. driving. Fuck! Wow. I... Wow. Rough. Crashing and jumping car dealer trade? What? This? This looks like some really redneck shit. <laughs> This is some redneck shit. Oh, that was lame. Boo. Boo. Watch high speed trading in action. Watch these two assholes just do nothing. Millions of orders that have been waiting all night for the market to rapidly filled by Citadel's computer program. He's doing it. Oops, look, guys. You can see how quiet it is. The phone's not even ringing. Clients are happy. That was intense. They were going so fast. Captain always goes down with the ship. This? <laughs> oh man. Please. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a good balance. Surely it's on the bottom by now. That was yep, about what I expected. You missed the best part. I'm assuming he just goes into the water. <laughs> Pretty much exactly what I expected. What? You think The Legend of Chaw is the most comedic video YouTube's ever seen? Oh my god, okay. It must be pretty good. Now that is just the well, I don't know about the claim that this is the best video on YouTube. Did you know the average person will eat about eight spiders in their lifetime? It's just astounding. Damn, I can't believe it. That was not the best video on YouTube. Fuck. I was so optimistic. Kyriok's Grizzly is the Bloat Max God? Oh, it's this guy. Never mind, I know exactly what that means. Those are some good screams. 
Sounds like some stock sound effects you'd hear in the old N64 era. Chased by a big alligator. Man, this guy's really going for it. Does he wrestle him next? Okay, let's see. We'll be really specific. Alligator climbs a fence. Not exactly what I was trying to find, but now I'm interested. The prospect of an alligator in your yard wasn't oh. scary enough. Now this, apparently... They can wow. Climb Very impressive. Got what a goofy, stupid dinosaur. Yeah, but I've never seen an alligator running that fast. I used to hear they could go 20 miles per hour on land. And I have never seen that. So how fast is this guy, huh? Psst, what the fuck? That wasn't fast. It was like he was doing like a like a basketball maneuver to get to the hoop. So they go 20 miles per hour for less than a second, maybe? I don't think that was 20 miles an hour, but... That'll probably be DMC. I'm just going to mute. Oh, this is a baby alligator. What the fuck? He hasn't even been trained yet. Incredible filming. Thing's not fast at all. It looks like when you put socks on a dog and it doesn't know how to act with its feet anymore. Zero chance that goes 20 miles an hour on land. I really think that was just a myth started one time as a joke to see if people believed it.